bugged out intro. It's so weird. It, it, it does the pictures one time correctly and then you like swap and back and then it does the pictures differently. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Whatever. Whatevs. Um, so today we're going to do study. Study. Study Monday. <laughs> We're going to be doing, I think the, the thing I'm going to focus on today is um, kind of stylization. Hi, Yatsuki, how's it going? And not going to try to be realistic. I will try to be realistic in render or light, but with stylized shapes and trying to exaggerate the shapes I see. Um, so just a little bit more of take what you see and, and make fun with, have fun with it, but still trying to understand uh, the shapes and proportions, but still push them. It's not an easy thing to do. And uh, it's very easy when you when you stylize something um, at the top of your head, first time drawing, um, you're going to stylize it wrong. Usually what happens, I can show you. Let's switch over to a slightly larger camera. Um, I've been doing like sketches for a, um, a personal IP. And uh, just trying to kind of play around with with shapes it's very stylized but it's a given like here one of the first tries where i'm just kind of experimenting with plotting out the the proportions without even drawing uh, just kind of trying out uh, what you know, like what the shapes look like, what the shapes are, and when you stylize, you really gotta be careful with like the proportions and the bends and and turns and so on. Um, so when you're now that I'm gonna try to stylize her, the reference, a lot of drawings, by the way, <laughs> and. Oh yeah, I'll show you. I did one, a uh, fun one, and I glued it into the sketchbook. <laughs> Troll. Anyways, I'm gonna try to stylize this, but it, like I said, it's gonna when you stylize it, you're gonna have to draw it a lot of times in order to get the styles correctly, or take time to properly measure the stylization. But I'm just going to wing it and paint realistic light, so it's going to be what it is. Um, but that, that's the idea of um, my study today, at least, from the reference. Uh, you guys can go and look for other things to learn from the reference. But I think this photo has a lot of interesting aspects to it. And I think stylization would fit me. Uh, so, hey, Fresha, Fresha, Akagria, what's up? Hey, Amir. Morphia. How's it going? Okay. Good morning. How's it going? How's it going? So last night I actually had some spare time. I painted a, a skeleton. A uh, spider. <laughs> a spider lady. It was a good fun. Listen to the music, trying to relax, but um, it was really hard because my daughter had a, uh, she had like a seizure while I was streaming, and I had to go and sort it. So, like I said. Um, Today I'll I'll try to stylize like what I what I see. It's going to be exaggeration, 
it's not I'm not gonna try to be realistic. I'm I'm gonna just try to uh, or rather be accurate. I'm gonna try to kind of push the shapes a bit and um, but try to capture the light correctly. So I'm gonna push the form but emulate the light as close as I can. Hey dear Bart, how's it going? You're gonna go for a value study? That's pretty cool. Amir, um, it is okay. I mean, we're we're still looking for um, a solution for her medical issues. It's not over. And needless to say, it's taxing, extremely taxing. Tuesday. Shit. It's uh, <coughs> anyways enough with her. Hey, to guess how's it going? Um. So, some updates for Unreal Bjornament. <laughs> I have yet to confirm prizes, but I think the judges this year are prize enough um, that you more or less get five months of personal mentoring <laughs> of some industry-leading pros. I think, uh, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty cool prize. Um, so, the judges so far, let me open the list uh, so I don't. Uh, um, say anything wrong. The judges so far, Ben Morrow, he's a designer working for a lot of movies. Um, Evan, he's a uh, what's it called? fantasy illustrator, character designer. I feel like I should say something smart. Hey, Doig Swift. Thanks for that raid. Fantastic. Welcome, everyone. Uh, today we're doing Study Monday. And I decided today that I'm going to do a study of, of stylization. But, uh, but add the light realistically. Uh, so obviously, I'm not trying to be accurate, as you can see. But uh, I'm going to try to be accurate with the light. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I, for all you new people, this is a half an hour only stream. But the benefit, the positives rather, is that it's daily, exactly at the same time. So for all you new people, if you want to come back, you just need to remember what time you are now. And uh, tomorrow I'll do, I'll be on the, on the stream again. Uh, so every Monday we do a study, and uh, all the other days we do um, random topics. You choose what I paint, I vary yeah. techniques, um, so on and so forth. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Uh, Freshy Fresha. Yeah, I can do a lot of um, different styles. Uh, that cartoony pencil drawings, they are, they are very different. They're for a different kind of tone, right? Uh, so uh, anyways, I was going to judges for Unreal Bjornament, that, which is, by the way, officially full. Uh, there is no more spots free. So it's Ben Morrow, Evan, and then we got Jana Shermer, which is a illustrator working for Blizzard, and uh, Overwatch, and Marvel. Um, then we have Max Berman, which is an uh, artist, uh, Matt Painter, oh, yeah. he's worked for many movies, you name it, he is the creator of uh, Kitbash, uh, big guy. Then we got Mark Molnar, who is an art director, concept artist, uh, fantastic painter. Then we have uh, multi-award winning uh, 
Liz Devon, Art Director Lip Comarella. Then we have Bastien Lacouf de Harm, Fantasy Illustrator. Extraordinaire. I love his paintings, by the way. They are so juicy. And then today, Jama Jurabaev uh, confirmed that he'll be a judge. He's an art director and VR uh, evangelist. Uh, he worked on uh, Jurassic Park, Star Wars, Ready Player One, you name it. Then we have one more who's confirmed, which I haven't written, but I'll do that later today. Hey, Sergey Fell, thanks for that sub. Sticky as, yeah, JAMA to confirm today. Uh, and then uh, the other artist or judge that I will announce today, I can might as well name him now and uh, write it later, but it's an uh, old um, sculptor for. Um, that worked with uh, Geiger, H.R. Geiger. Uh, he's a modeler or, or sculptor and educator. So I'm excited to have him on as well. So we got some good judges this year. And uh, the crazy thing is they will be looking at your work every round and and hopefully write some good feedback for you guys. Uh, so it's gonna be gonna be cool time. be a cool time to be in Unreal Ornament this year. Uh, yet I have yet to get prizes for you. Um, but if even if we don't you guys don't get any prizes from sponsors, at least you'll get to print like last year. Uh, you'll get these amazing artists looking at your work and commenting. Uh, I'll, I'll throw something in if we I don't get any prizes uh, set up for you, but there should be. There should be. Hopefully that iPad as well. I, I need to chase that up. I just haven't had time. It's too much work. Pantheon of Giants. Yeah, some, some good judges this year. I'm very excited. Uh, also, Justin uh, Lassen co is coming back with a bespoke song for us, which is really cool. For the music round. I'm excited to hear what he comes up with, actually. He asked, like, how much time do I have? It's like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, how much time until it starts? I said, oh, it's March 1st. It's the launch day. He was like, I'll make a song for you. <laughs> Holy shit, all right, <laughs> let's go. So I didn't even ask him. He was like, nah, I'll make a, I'll make a song. Like, cool, cool, man. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> uh, Sergey Fell, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, just let me know on Discord, uh, like on a PM, because I'm juggling a lot of things. Uh, just remind me on Discord and I'll do it. Amir, yeah, he's making a song just for us. It's crazy, isn't it? Specifically just for us. That man, he needs to win a prize himself. Hey, Dark Mystical, how's it going? Fight milk. <laughs> I think it's really very kind of him. And I think he really loves the community. I mean, a lot of judges um, for each previously two years, 
they had so much fun looking at the artwork and they've written to me personally afterwards like ah oh, it was so much fun um and so on so it's really cool and 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 they the judges are actually enjoying well most of the judges are actually enjoying um being a part of it and, and helping and, and thinking about you know who did a better piece and things like that it's really really nice to see and hear you can see the level of enthusiasm in the judges uh, when it's uh, all starting and each round there you can read their their feedback and how they approach what you've done it's fascinating so this year i am not going to participate in the judging or the feedback um, i'm passing the gauntlet to the judges usually i uh, supplement it with feedback but i'm hoping that the these that's why i added a little bit more judges um this year just to beef up the response a little bit and because um, the reason is why I, I, I beefed up the lineup slightly more is because I know they are very busy, right? They, they graciously, graciously um, joined in, but the chances are that, you know, that they might give a short response. So that's why I, I like played the numbers by adding uh, some more so that there's a higher chance of getting some comments. Uh, Dear Bard, uh, last year Justin gave us um, exclusive first listen to his song he made with his new sound library, which it goes into like all the synths and so on. Like he's a, it's a, like an audio library for sounds, right? And he gave us the uh, world exclusive first listen and, and access to that song, right? And after the fact, after the competition, he released uh, the song, right, uh, and the sound library. But this year, uh, he'll do uh, a song just for us from scratch. Mortal Beordament. I mean, give him a trophy. Yeah, I think I think I need to. I'm. I invited another judge. Um, but I'm guessing this judge is too busy, but my plan was if this judge would join in, I would, I would try to convince him to do a, uh, a 3d print as a, as a trophy, but, uh, I think he's too busy. My fight build, yeah, Rafael, uh, Rafael Gresetti I invited, but um, I'm suspe suspecting he's very busy with, with Santa Monica uh, studio stuff. Miguel, you want a character design round? In in all honesty, Miguel. You can take any round and make it into a character design round for you. Nothing stops you from it. But the only only reason why you might want everyone to do a character design round is so that you are not the outlier, <laughs> right? So that you, you are not the only one doing a character design and thus increase your potential of losing it if someone that you're fighting against is doing an illustration which potentially might invoke more emotions, right? But in theory, you know, like Black Fox Society, like the music round of last year, nothing would stop you from doing um, a character design. 
could be some cool looking monster uh, priest, <laughs> you know? So in that sense, like I've always been, uh, I've always been pushing you guys to do your strengths, you know, what, what makes you, you. And if that is character design, just make sure that you're doing a really, really good character design and, and you're golden. Uh, but that's the, like I said, that's the tricky part. If everyone does it and they're all on the equal playing fields. Um, but then again, I think the, the general, the general um, culture of Unreal Bjornament is uh, illustration. I think it, it has evolved into significantly more illustration work than uh, someone doing concept art. But like I said, nothing stops you really from doing that. It's just it's just going to be a gamble if you do. And uh, I think it, if you if you have an educated um, educated gamble, <laughs> you know, you can t make that move. If you feel like your character design game is strong enough to compete against a full-blown illustration, you know, that will be a cocky move to do, right? Not an impossible, mind you. Like, on, on the original uh, Thunderdome competition, where, where this um, art art competition style came from. I went up against, I think, uh, I don't remember who, but there was some, some big uh, name. And um, I won with like a character design, character design, but um, made into like a half illustration. Man, this is some sloppy brushwork, not good. So I mean, there is there is a possibility that you can win with a character design against an illustration illustrator. It's just a matter of uh, you know hitting the the mark. French French, uh, <laughs> Mr. Kojima. I don't have any contact with Kojima. Actually. I haven't. He's one of those I haven't worked with. I would love to work with Kojima. I would also love to work with um, Neil Blomkamp. Actually, he's. Uh, into movies, but uh, he, he, he seems like a extremely creative driven person. And I love those kind of people. I would love to do something with, with you know, Bloom Camp and Kojima. Maybe Kojima and Bloom Camp combo, oh Jesus. Hidetaka Miyazaki. I mean, if we're talking about greats, then yeah, of course. <laughs> I just stumbled onto those names because someone wrote about Kojima. Um, but yeah, of course. Uh, Frox, how you would spend your time? I mean, it's it's. I wouldn't feel good giving you a straight answer uh, because you are you and I am, you know, I am me. 
we would do and and have uh, we would do things differently by nature because we are different people we have different work ethics we have different brains uh, or different backgrounds and so on so it's, it it would be difficult for me to say what you should do with your spare time now that you fi finally potentially will have a chance to to follow your your desire of art uh, so keep that in mind with my answer. I'm trying to give you as a generic, uh, constructive suggestion as possible, right? With the with the little time I have left, eight minutes. Uh, but the general idea, what I would do, is up to that point where you have this spare time, I would do studies. I would think of a project so that on day one, when you have your spare time, you're not going to spend your spare time thinking. Because you can, you can think while sitting on the toilet. You can think while going to the grocery store. You can uh, think while uh, riding the subway, right? So my suggestion would be really consider a fun project that you would like to do see it as uh, exam work right at the end of this month seven months you need to have something to show so think about a project that you can deal with a project that will challenge you but you will uh, scale your knowledge over time based on this task right so you don't want to extremely far away goal in terms of stretch in terms of skill sets right you want um a goal that you can obtain but the fact that you'll spend this long time on it will will challenge you right? so you'll learn from it and you should pick something um, i think that speaks to your strengths like i like to draw or lately i've been drawing a lot of rocks or whatever maybe do some rock project or you know environment or whatever and you do many of them you do one at night you do one at daylight or whatever project that you might come up with you know that you'll spend this time with but the end goal is to have this project as a portfolio where you can go this is what i can do in half a year you know given time because a lot of clients for example when you work on big games they have a half a year for you to design, let's say, 30 characters. That's the rough estimate at the top of my head, right? Um, and at the end of that, the project, um, for your sake, ends, right? They, they continue working on it. They continue pushing the characters. But you, you can't touch that work anymore. And then three years later, when they announce the game and they release the game, you have access to those images, if you're lucky, and you can show them to the world of saying, well, this is what I did. Uh, three years ago, right? And uh, the reason why I'm saying you should do it, think about the project to do, is because the project, if the project has a good idea, it'll stand the test of time. If it's a generic boring project that you're going to spend seven months on, uh, when you're done, it that won't matter how technically good you are doing it. It won't be interesting to look at, right? So it's important that you, you, because you're a student or you're a, you're in uni, you are you're fully aware of, you know, like how to approach. Um, what are they called in English? Not exam work, but uh, project time or whatever you know they, these uh, that you get graded on for half a year, bachelor or whatever you know. So it's important, ideas transcend time. Skill level always will be horrible over time. But a solid idea lasts forever, you know. And that's the hard part. And that's why I'd say start thinking now, start preparing now, uh, so that you don't stand there, uh, what's it called, threading water? <laughs> they won.
you want to be swimming. I mean, Frox, that could be like the, the basic idea of the project, right? How to push fundamentals or how to improve. But you want, you want something in the end to, to show someone, to package it in something so that you can go, hey, look, look at this. I did this for seven months. You don't want to be at the end of it go, hey, look, I did studies of someone else's work and everyone will go oh nice i i prefer the original though you want to come out of it with originals and in order to do that you need to i mean you need to practice fundamentals as you're doing it everyone does i mean i could easily take the this knowledge i'm doing of this study and apply it to work after the stream, but I can't take this study and submit it to a client. So that's why, for example, studies and learning, you will never, you will never stop doing that. Or ideally you should never stop doing that as a working artist or as an artist in general. It's the question is what you do with this knowledge, what you do with this uh, practicing fundamentals in your case. I mean, I am practicing fundamentals now, right? And I can walk away with this knowledge. I can walk away with these uh, new form of understanding and use it straight after the stream to a client. And the more you do it, the, the more you remember and the more in-depth you can go with your uh, attempts at understanding something. And you just layer the complexity over and over and over again for yourself. So while you study practicing fundamentals and learning to draw, draw for a purpose. You know? That's what I'm saying is that at the end of it, you want a bunch of originals to go, hey, look, I did alien landscapes based on uh, Minnesota forest nature reserve or whatever. And, and they go like, oh, that's a cool idea. Let me see your alien environments based on uh, nature reserve. You know, and they can go, oh, that's cool. But you've been practicing looking at real stuff, implementing them in your world, own world, and you can hold up something at the end and say, oh, hey, look, this is my stuff. Um, Fraser, Fraser, the ref of the week is this apostrophe ref. There you go. You can call any uh, nightbot commands on Discord or here. It will work. So if you if you on Discord, if you want the ref, just type apostrophe ref. If you want to see the winners of Unreal Bureau Two, type apostrophe re winners. A nightbot is on a, a Discord server as well.
I think it's time, no? End of study Monday. Uh, frogs, yeah, please do. Uh, I would also recommend you writing them down so you see them. The ideas for projects you have. Don't just have them in the mind, but write them down so you can see them. Because you might think about something differently tomorrow and you go, oh, what's that idea again? Or they, they, they Frankenstein over time. So write them down so that you express them. It'll, it'll change the way you think about them. Uh, Froax, historically accurate concepts is a niche market. No one cares about, big picture wise, no one cares about the, the correct style of uh, pauldrons. No one cares, except certain few people, and that matters a lot, but you should you should not forget that the mass market they are extremely not specialists they don't they just is if it looks cool it's cool right for us you care sure but you might be shooting yourself in the foot by caring too much about historically accurate mutant orcs <laughs> Sergey, absolutely. Rule of cool is definitely. All right. Beard ASMR, by the way. Uh, let's find someone uh, to, to wait. Who can we... Oh, Max. What's, what the, what's Max drawing? <laughs> what the... All right, we're raiding Max. All right, so good news with uh, we've got some cool judges, additions to the lineup. Um, Unreal Bjornament 3 sign up is full. We reached the 100 person cap in two days. Oh, Jesus. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll have a good study time. See you guys tomorrow where we'll do your suggestion, I guess. Let's do the outro and then take you to the raid. Have a good one. Tools.